Welcome to the jungle. This video is the ultimate mid journey guide you will ever need. I will guide you through utilizing the most advanced mid journey prompts and exploring the key parameters and styles to bring your AI art creations to new heights. You will learn how to upload one or more images for prompt reference, how to blend them, applying weight and quality parameters for precise fine tuning and saving your prompts as presets. I will share two amazing cheat sheets with you full of great style inspirations and show you a free tool to write advanced prompts by just clicking on options. We will try to solve character consistency problem by using remix and with multiple image prompts together. Let's get started. The Meet Journey bot on Discord is a tool used to create custom images from text prompts. To use the bot, first step is to join to Meet Journey Discord by going to meetjourney.com and clicking on join to beta or going directly to discord.gg slash meetjourney. Once in the Discord, find a newbies channel on the left sidebar and use the slash imagine command to generate an image from your text prompt. Let's try an example with a basic prompt, which can be as simple as a single word, phrase or emoji, a delicious burger. Okay, what if I want to use this image in my vertical videos? To do that, I will add aspect ratio parameter by dash dash AR 9 by 16. You can of course do 16 by 9 or even 1 by 1 if you need perfect squares. The bot takes about a minute to generate four options, which we call the grid. After the initial image grid has generated, you can upscale the image you like the most by pressing U or create variations of that image using V button. Since we covered basics, let's jump into advanced props. This basically means including one or more image URLs, multiple text phrases and one or more parameters. First, I will show you how to use an image as a reference point for your AI art. Click on the Meet Journey bot on Discord and upload your reference image here. Once the upload is completed, copy the link to the image and paste it into your prompt. Meet Journey version 4 does not allow prompting with only an image without text prompt, so you have to add some reference text to the prompt. Keep in mind that you can add more than one image as an image prompt. This is especially helpful if you want to increase the similarity of your images to the original subject. These are photos of my dog Loni. Here I will create a Pixar character from two of her photos. If you want to use multiple images as reference point, you can use slash blend command and choose images from your device. This can create amazing collage artwork. Here's an example where I blended Loni's photo with Anubis, ancient Egyptian deity. If you visit Midjourney showcase page, you can get incredible inspiration by creations of other people. You can see and copy paste their prompts. For example, let's check this artwork. As you can see in this prompt, there are some style elements. If we come back to the burger example, I may need a burger photo in the food photography style with studio light, or I may go to more of a film noir direction with cinematic lightning, darker tones and black and white. I will share ultimate cheat sheet for you in the description of this video for all styles Mid Journey supports. You can use this cheat sheet to discover amazing new artsy styles and apply them to your AI masterpieces. I tried to create a jungle princess in neon punk style. If you want something more out of the box, you can use Cheat Sheet 2 with amazing new experimental styles people are trying out on Mid Journey. Try paper cut craft illustration, isometric illustration, low resolution pixel art, or low poly diorama of Barcelona. Great, now we learned where to find these great style ideas. But is there an easier way to build complex prompts with different style options? Prompt Noonshot is a free tool that helps you generate complex mid-journey prompts in seconds with easy parameters to tweak. 
It has almost all styles built in, ready for you to pick. Here, I generated this complex new prompt using Noonshot. If you visit Mid Journey Showcase page and visit one of the artworks, you can copy paste the prompt. Notice that prompt does not show all parameters people used. Instead of copying prompt, copy full commands and then you can see all parameters. Now, parameters are an essential part of advanced prompting on Mid Journey. Let's talk about weights. Look at the difference between these two images and their prompts. They are identical prompts, except the fact that in this one, wide open field with clouds in the sky has three times as much weight as the rest of the prompt. Weights condition mid journey to give more space and importance to the words in brackets. Let's give another example. A man with a blue hat walking his dog. Now let's add a weight of three to the man with a blue hat and notice how the dog isn't even in the picture anymore. Maybe he is walking his dog, but image doesn't focus on it because so much weight is on the man with a blue hat. Here's another example, a woman looking at the Eiffel Tower. Here, weight of two on the phrase woman looking and here, weight of two on the Eiffel Tower. Let's go back to burger prompt again and apply weights. Now, burger has five weights, food photography has four, and attention to detail has three. Now, this is great, but do you realize we have some unwanted elements in the image? To get rid of them, we will use negative weight. Using negative weights or with simply dash dash no keywords, you can filter out unwanted things from your image. Let's talk about quality parameter. This is going to improve quality of your mid-journey AI generated images more than you can imagine. Here's an example. Batman sitting in a chair next to a pool. Notice there is no quality parameter on this one. As I mentioned earlier, parameters are added to the end of the image prompt and have special codes. Parameter quality is represented by dash dash quality or dash dash Q. Since we didn't specify the quality in this image, default quality is always one. As you go up in quality, image get better visually, but it gets more expensive in terms of token usage. If you have a paid plan on mid journey, you get certain amount of GPU hours or basically total energy you can use in mid journey servers while rendering your images. Higher the quality, more GPU hours it spends. If you want absolutely stunning high resolution images, I recommend using quality parameter together with resolution. Usual keywords like 8K, 4K, photorealistic, ultra photoreal, ultra detailed, Unreal Engine 5 work great. Being able to create consistent character designs on mid journey is a massive challenge, especially if you are creating a comic book. Take an AI-generated image of a character and picture her with different emotions in different scenes in variety of body postures. I have some potential solutions for this problem. The first method is called Puppet Method. Puppet Method creates a template for the next prompt that keeps the reference image as consistent as possible and moves it to the new scene you specify. Meet Elora. This is the character I created for my narrated story using this prompt. Now, I have some scenes in the story where Elora needs to be angry or sad. To reach there, I will use Elora's image as puppet reference in my image prompt. In the text prompt, I need to include setting or place Elora's emotion, face expression or activity she is doing. There is even an easier way to do this. It's called remix mode. To achieve this, first you need to prompt slash settings and turn on remix mode. Now we will produce Elora's character again. And notice I will add no expression, no emotion keywords to my first prompt. Okay, I like this version of Elora. It's close to how I imagined her. Now I will click on variations button V and since we allow remix mode, Mid Journey will ask me to rewrite my prompt 
keeping the reference image for variations. For the new version, I will change expression and emotion to set. I can update her posture as well, changing her action to petting a dog. To improve consistency even more, I will upload Elora's original image and the version she is petting a dog with a prompt consists of two image links. This won't be enough, so I will also use a text prompt and describe the scene. As you can see, we are coming quite close to consistent results with these methods. Quick tip. Let's say you want to work on one of your past grids, but you don't know how to go back to that. To find that grid or any image you created in the past, visit gallery in your mid-journey account. Click on three dots and choose open in Discord. Now I will show you how to create a preferred option list or what I call mid-journey presets. You see, we are using quite detailed prompts while creating these characters and it's a hassle to apply same style to new images we create without copy-pasting all parameters. Instead of doing that, you can save your prompt parameters to mid-journey and apply with a single parameter. I will save Elora's prompt parameters as preferred option under the tag character design. I will copy paste the whole string to this tag and save it. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about AI tools, you can click here.